the city's ready to explode if you haven't noticed the so is the province so talk to me about the even keel you guys have been able to keep this on this week because uh to be pretty insular has been pretty important here i would think uh it has been uh you know what i think our team has just been really focused uh, you see the guys from the time we come out to work each and every day uh, to, to the time we go home. Guys have just really been even killed and really been focused. I think it's a good thing. I think it's a, a thing where guys just put the distraction away from the outside and let the community uh, enjoy all the hype and the hoop rock. But us as a team, we've just been uh, close as a family and just know that uh, what's at stake and what's on the line. Is it almost just try to bottle up all that energy and then finally let it let it loose? Is that almost the, the point of it right now? That's what you have to do. You know what? We, uh, like I said, we moved around pretty good in practice this week, but we know we have a lot of energy we're going to come out with on tomorrow. And uh, it, it's just, it, it's like kind of a, a thing, like you said, quiet before the storm, you know, and that's how we have been. We've just kind of been business as usual. And, uh, you know, tomorrow when, it, when it's time to come out, you know, uh, guys will be, Guys will be unleashed on the bar. <laughs> Wes Cates isn't on the roster. Talk to me about the depth. Ronix kicking around. You got Corey Holmes back there. Nice, uh, nice depth behind you here in a in a day that the run may be important. Yeah, it is. You know what? It's good to have those guys back healthy. Uh, it's good to have Josh uh, on the roster also. You know, unfortunately for Casey, we know he would love to be here with us. But, uh, you know, Josh is a guy that stepped in last week. He picked up the system. So it's a guy that we are comfortable with. So, you know what? We have a one-two punch back there with him and Corey. What do you think of the footing? Do you think it's going to be a factor? No, I don't think it's going to be bad. You know what? Uh, you know, it's been pretty cold the last few days and everything. But I think with the weather warming up a little bit today, the field is going to be pretty good. Might be a little damp, but, you know, this field holds up pretty good when it's a little damp. Is it almost change is almost the same for you guys? Because it seems like it's never the same lineup. It's, always, you kind of, it's almost comforting that there's a change. You know what? Through a long season like this, you're going to go through changes. Uh, but you have to credit the guys that have stepped in. Uh, you know what? Guys step in and uh, they don't have any doubt. The guys that's in there on a, a consistent basis, basis, we trust the guys that's coming in. So when you do that, you dwell together and you stick together as a team, you can still find that uh, element of success. Gary, what's the difference between this Calgary defense that you're going to face tomorrow and the one you saw last time you played them? You know, uh, they're pretty much lined up the same with the same uh, guys that they have. Uh, they have a lot of athletic guys right there that can make plays. You know, uh, they've been showing their 4-3 uh, front. But uh, overall, I don't think they're going to change much. You can see they're starting to play a little bit more aggressive in the last few weeks. So, you know what, we just have to really be able to take advantage of the opportunities when they present themselves to us.